Okay. So I had somebody ask me how I installed the Afterlife mod. Oh, excuse me. I need a drink. So I'm going to shoot this quick video. As it stands right now, you actually, actually have to install it in, uh, through the 7 Days to Die mod launcher. Where's my mouse not moving? There it goes. You could find that right here. If you do a, a 7 Days mod launcher search at 7d2dmodlauncher.org. You open it up. And you're going to download whatever version you need. I'm going to do the Windows, although I'm not going to do it because I already have it. It's going to be in here. You open up the containing folder. Double click it to launch. Typical installation. You say yes. And you can create it and go through the steps and just download it. It's just like anything else. So, that being said, once you have it installed, you're going to launch it. It'll typically probably ask you if you want to launch it right after installation. Now, you can do this with most mods. Um, when you first do this, it's probably going to have anything old that you had in here from old alphas, like the version ones won't be in here. You'll have to install them. So you go to install new mod and then these are all the version ones, as you can see, we'll go ahead and we'll just do district zero. And then you're going to click on the install button. Now what it's going to do, it's going to take, like I have my, uh, my base game on my D drive, which is a, um, it's not my C drive. It's like a, a plugin drive that I use. Okay. It's going to make a copy of it and then it's going to install it. Okay. And then we're going to just click play. Actually, sorry, it's sound. It's automatically downloading it. I apologize. I don't, I don't use this. I usually install manually, uh, and I could shoot a separate video on that if you want to learn how to install mods manually. But you can't install Afterlife manually as of yet because it's not posted on any of like the Seven Days to Die mods or Nexus mods yet. So what it is doing, it is downloading it, and it's going to download it. I'm not sure where it downloads them actually. Let's see. It might be in here. Yeah, see, it created a folder. It's got some old mods that I had played. Uh, here's the version wood. So it's doing district zero right now, as you can see. Um, it's, you open it up, it's still, it's still downloading. So there's probably not a lot of stuff in there, but that's where it's putting it. It's putting it on my D drive, but it created its own folder for the mod launcher. Okay, and it's got the saves and everything related to that. Now, in my own, I have my own 7 Days to Die copy here. This is my vanilla game. This is a copy that I created to have on hand for when I want to manually download something. Like these, I've manually downloaded. Okay. Um, and that's, that's, a, that's for another video. So... You just have to wait until it's uh, it's done downloading. It's going to take a little while, as you can see. Um, and then you could you could add all these mods if you want. I am Legend Outback Roadies. These are all uh, version one mods now. If you see the alpha version here, you can go back to other alphas if you wanted to and download stuff. If you're playing an older version, um, so we're going to go back to the install screen, see how it's doing. still going excuse me all right so you just gotta wait for it to get done which it's doing and then when you want to play the game um, you just click on it here on the left hand side as you can see this one's already downloaded 
it says you're on the latest version and you'll click play it'll back up your saves and you'll know that you did it right if you get that particular mod title screen each mod has its own title screen different than um you know the vanilla title screen for seven days so go ahead and click on play give it a minute because it takes some time to load some of the mods are bigger than others all right you'll get the fun pimp screen first obviously as you can see here and you might get the main screen for the vanilla game that the fun pimps have created we'll see in a second now obviously downloading it with the mod launcher is is a lot easier you shouldn't have any issues with any of the mods if you download them through the mod launcher. Sometimes when you download them manually, some mods are a little more complicated. It just looks like it's actually just loading up the Afterlife title screen because that's not the typical uh, loading particle screen for the vanilla version of Seven Days to Die. So it looks like it's actually going to load the Afterlife title screen and then you'll be able to play. Now, when you're playing Afterlife, they highly recommend leaving the settings uh, to what they recommend and also starting with a new random world gen map. Not to use like Navis gain and things like that, I believe. I mean, you could do a little bit more reading. I'm not sure if they have a Discord. Um, a lot of times on the mod launcher, if they do, yeah, they do have a Discord. You see here, you can click on that link. It'll bring you to their Discord. How's District Zero doing? All right, so District Zero is done. So. And here we go, Afterlife. If you're gonna do a game, I do a, do a new random world. Make sure everything is in white because it won't be when you first start, okay? Keep everything in white. No yellow, nothing. Don't raise anything. And that's it. That is how you install Afterlife. That's how you install any mod, really, with the mod launcher. It's really quite simple. District Zero. I'm not going to play it right now, but let's just show you real quick with District Zero that it installed correctly. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> like I said with these other ones, when you're doing, like, Awards UK, it didn't used to have a mods folder in it, the vanilla game. Um, it does now, if you can see in my copy, it says mods and it's got a harmony folder. This is the fun pimps folder. Do not remove this. Just leave that in there. It's got a lot of files that the game needs to run. Uh, but you, what you would do is you would download a mod from seven days died mod. I mean, I'll go over it, but I'm not going to go over it because that's empty. As you can see now, if we go into like wars, UK, I added all these. The only thing that I didn't is that I didn't remove that. I left it in there and then I added all this one's, I don't think crafting containers came with it. I'm not sure though. I think I might have added that separately. But this is all the um, mods that I installed from the zip file. There was other optional mods that I did not put in here. Okay, if you go into, sorry. I'm, I hope this is not getting confusing for everyone. Just do it the way I showed you to with the mod launcher and you'll be fine. I can shoot another video later on to show you how to install mods manually. But sometimes when you do that, like, it gets screwed up. So if you could use the mod launcher, why not? You know, it's just easier on you. As you can see, it says District Zero and you have the District Zero um, title screen. So it's done. Start a new game. I always like to create my own worlds, my old uh, random world gen worlds. I'm going to go with James, sure. And you just do a new random world. You change your game name, obviously. You can pick your size. You can do District Zero. Test. You could put a seed in here if you want. It'll change different. Every time you type a new letter, you see here where it... Generate a world name and change it all when you... It doesn't matter what you add here. It could be all gibberish. 
and then you uh Uh, yeah, so that's it. I'm not playing this right now. I'm not a huge fan of that mod, but that's it. That's the mod launcher. These are the mods that are available right now. That's all. These are all Alpha 21. Um, these are all the version one ones. 28 Alphas later, Afterlife, Dishong, District Zero, blah blah blah. So. Do it the way I showed you, and you shouldn't have any issues at all. If you have any questions, just slap them down in the uh, comments, and I'll uh, usually answer fairly quickly, depending on uh, whether or not I'm working. I work long shifts, 12 hours, so sometimes I don't get uh, back to people in a day or two if I'm working the weekend, which is coming up this weekend. So I hope, uh, I hope I helped you out. Like I said, any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Slap a like on the video. Subscribe if you want more content, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.